Hi there, Amir here from FlexiWan, and with me today is Ivor Cresso. On this video, we're going to show you how to install FlexiWan on a virtual machine or bare metal, assuming you already have Ubuntu installed. Now, two important things to note. First, we assume that you already have an account on FlexiManage, which is our management system. If you do not have an account, just take a look at our video opening a free account on FlexiWan on our YouTube channel. Second, this video is for those who want to install FlexiWan by themselves. You can also purchase a device pre-installed with FlexiWan on it from one of our certified hardware partners. And to find the list of those partners, simply go to our website, flexiwan.com, and find this list under hardware partners. Over to you, Ivor. Thanks, Amir. We're going to start from FlexiManage, which is our solution for centralized device management. We'll cover how to add a new device to an existing FlexiWan account, assuming you're already registered and created organizational token on your first login. It's very easy to add more devices from FlexiManage. Simply click on Home section from the sidebar and follow the displayed steps to add another device. The homepage shows a few simple steps on installing FlexiWan on Ubuntu 18.04 device, adding your organizational token and connecting the device to your FlexiManage account. Before we start, please make sure to check our system requirements from the documentation page linked in the video description. FlexiWan requires a relatively modern hardware with two CPU cores and four gigs of RAM. First step is to add FlexiWan software repository to your Ubuntu device. Simply copy the first command and run it with sudo. Wait for it to add and update FlexiWan repository. Next step is to install FlexiWay. Copy or type the apt-get install FlexiWay router line and wait for a few moments for installation to complete. A few moments later and FlexiWay is now installed. First thing you can notice is the output of system configuration checker, which is ran automatically after FlexiWay installation. System Checker will verify if your device supports FlexiWAN and display any errors or warnings it finds. Since the device passed all settings, we can continue, however, if your installation output shows any errors or warnings, simply run FW System Checker as root to try to fix them. System Checker is also covered in FlexiWAN installation documentation in much greater detail. The next step is to connect your newly installed device to your FlexiManage account. Simply copy the token path and create a new file with it using your editor of choice. Then, navigate to Inventory, Tokens, and copy the token which was previously generated during your first login to FlexiManage. Then, paste the token into Text Editor and save it. That's it! The device is now linked to your FlexiManage account and will show up shortly under Devices screen. The device will first show as unapproved, so click on the unknown device name and let's start configuring it. First name the device and also add a description, then make sure to check Approved. After that, click on Update Device button and go back to the device's screen. After a few moments, the device will show as approved and connected. Now that the device is connected, it will show vRouter is not running. That's because we need to configure the device interfaces first, after which we can successfully run the device. To do that, click again on the device name and click on Interfaces tab. From there, assign WAN and LAN interfaces. In our example, the device has multiple WAN interfaces, so we'll go ahead and assign all of them, as well as LAN interface. FlexiWAN requires WAN and LAN interfaces assigned in order to work. In our case, FlexiWAN has private IPs on WAN while the public IP is on the upstream router. By default, FlexiWAN supports NAT traversal and STUN, which allows it to establish tunnels behind NAT. It can also automatically detect if there's a direct public IP on WAN and not use NAT traversal at all. So now that we've assigned and configured interfaces, click on Update Device button. FlexiManage will show that the configuration job was added successfully, and now we can start the device. That's it. We wait for the device to show as running. You can click on the fresh button while waiting and the device will briefly disconnect and then connect back as running. 
Once the device is running, it's ready to be connected to other sites. This concludes our video. In this video, we've shown how to install FlexiWAN on your Ubuntu 18.04 device, connect it to your FlexiManage account using token, and finally approve and configure a FlexiWAN device. Be sure to check the video description for more content. Thank you for trying out FlexiWAN.